Hey there, I'm Kat Loretta from Elevate for Self Love, and I, today I wanted to talk to you about an important topic regarding levels of consciousness and emotional capacity. So before I do, please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and like this video if it resonates with you. I was speaking to someone about emotional capacity of a friend who has not been able to forgive me for something that they perceived as negative and they're holding a grudge and they don't want to make peace and they are taking my concern and caring for them as a negative thing. So essentially this person has some issues that they don't want to face. They're in denial and they are angry at me for pointing them out. So I was talking to someone and we began talking about different capacities of people. So this all has to do with maturity level. It has to do with emotional levels of people and their evolution and where they are in life and people can be on different planes and it's a different playing field so if you're here and you have had life experiences and, and relationships and friendships and you've had a lot of practice socially with navigating through difficulties and challenges within those relationships then you are more equipped, you have the skills, you have the skill set to navigate through those challenges in the future. But if you meet someone who doesn't have that experience, who doesn't have the skill set that's necessary to repair or um, forgive and, and, and like rebond in a friendship, then that person, you know, doesn't possess the ability to be your, your equal. And, you know, they're down here when it comes to awareness and when it comes to emotional maturity, they may grow over time and, and get up here to where you are. And you may feel like, you know, you want them to, and you're trying to help them. And that's how I felt in the situation I was in. But unfortunately, if they're still down here and you're up here, it's really not going to work to have a real friendship. You can have a friendship that's like superficial or like, you know, just acquaintances and, you know, you can relate to that person and have fun, but you're not going to be able to go deep and have a real true reciprocal friendship. Um, because people that are on this level, the lower level, essentially they often take the victim role and they want to blame other people. So they point the finger at anybody, not themselves. They don't want to have self-awareness. And this is something that, you know, some people are like this for their whole lives and some people grow out of this. Over time, they do grow and they change into more mature and self-aware individuals, but not everybody does. So it depends on the person and whether they are open-minded enough and mature enough to grow as a person and, and grow in self-awareness because the key is self-awareness. If you have self-awareness, then you won't point the finger at everybody else because you'll first say, how does my behavior contribute to this situation and then how does their behavior contribute to the situation because we're both doing something that's either triggering triggering the other person um you know or maybe we're being unfair to the other person like the, everybody's kind of got their part and sometimes you know in certain situations there's nothing you can do even if you try to adjust your own behavior to get a better outcome from the other person, if they're the type who just points fingers and they don't have a level of self-awareness to be able to examine their own behavior, then you can't get anywhere because they'll just, they, they actually don't even see it. Like they don't even see that they have like participated 
and even caused sometimes the problems within the relationship between the two people. So it's like you're talking to someone or you're you're trying to work something out with someone who literally doesn't even see what's happening. And you're, you might be like, I, like, I'm trying so hard to like explain this to you. And like, why don't you understand? And why can't you get it? Um, but they like can't. So it's, it reminds me of like when I was a kid and I was terrible at math, like really, really terrible at math. And I just couldn't get these math problems. Like I was in all honors classes because I was smart, but math, I was not smart in. So this one, it, it was like you were either in all or nothing with honors classes in high school. Um, sorry, elementary school. It was all of elementary school, Catholic elementary school, first grade to eighth grade. So I'm in the honors classes. And we'd go into the math class and everybody else got the math equations in like two seconds. And I would be sitting there like, I have no idea what they're talking about. I have no idea. I would look at the equations on the board and I'd be like, no clue, no clue. I would have to go to the extra help after school and I would sit there for hours. And then finally it was like, boom, it like hit me. Like it would literally just hit me. And I'm like, that's what it's like. Like I, I could not see what everybody else was seeing. And that's how it is when you're dealing with people that have a lower emotional maturity or emotional capacity to self-examine and, um, you know, take accountability for their part. They don't actually see their part because they're not looking at themselves. They're just like focused outwards on like what everybody else did wrong. And they never get to this place where they look in and say, okay, like this is what I did and this is what caused whatever problem happened. They're just not doing that. They can't see it. It's like when I couldn't see this math, when I couldn't understand the math, I just didn't get it. So it's not like they're trying to be bad people. It's just that they're not on your level. And it's so hard to relate and it's so hard to, um, you can't get close because you can see that that person operates from a certain level of entitlement and selfishness because they're so fixated on themselves, they actually, um, they're not, like I said, they're not looking, they, they are looking outwards to point the finger of fault. Um, and But they're also like, looking inwards as their main focus, like they're entitled, it's about them, it's about their needs, you know, it's, it's not, they're not able to have an awareness of other people's needs and, you know, uh, they don't want to, they just want to think about their own needs, getting their own needs met. And that's like an entitlement issue it's all kind of wrapped into one and it's just basically an immature type of mentality that some people grow out of and some people don't. So the difficulty is, you know, when you care about someone like this, how do you relate to them? How do you, you know, how do you deal with the day-to-day -day issues that will occur from someone who who won't take their who won't take their accountability, who won't look inside themselves and say, I was wrong, or you know, I see your perspective, and they don't want to do that. So it's something um, of a victim mindset, which I think I said before. They they don't want to feel like they're wrong. They want to blame other people, and that makes them feel better. And I think it also it also kind of ties into insecurity that I think people that stay like this, especially, I mean, younger people, like you can understand it's, they're like still growing and maturing, but when people stay like this indefinitely, I think it's got to do with, um, insecurity. They're highly insecure because people that are secure are self-aware. They do look at themselves. They will, examine themselves and they have an ability to 
look at their flaws and and I think that that comes with security and like a stability. But when you're insecure, anything can kind of make you um get shaky, I guess. So, you know, when we're codependent, which I am, and I'm working on it, we can try to help these people. We can want to help these people. We can feel like, you know, I really wish I could help this person and explain to them and I'll, you know, so you're, so you communicate with them and you tell them how you feel and you tell them this is, you know, this is what I'm seeing. And, um, again, if the person isn't able to actually relate at this level that you're at and they're down here, you're really not going to get anywhere because it's like you're speaking Greek, you're speaking a different language, you're trying to talk to someone and tell them about, you know, complicated math, but they don't, they barely understand math at all, like me. And so it's not going to work, you know? So essentially all you can do is distance yourself and try to have a different type of friendship with that person. Maybe it's a distant friendship, a casual friendship. Maybe it's just like the kind of thing where you say, okay, you know, just give me a call when, when you uh, want to get together and you just have fun and that's it. Because if you can't relate on like a deep emotional level, to me, that's not a fulfilling friendship. I like reciprocal friendships that are deep and fulfilling where both people are enjoying themselves and um, both people are content with what they're getting from this relationship. So I hope that that was um, an, an interesting examination of different levels of emotional capacity, people that are not all the same and that, you know, sometimes relationships just can't work because you're just not in the, on the same playing field with another individual that you wish you were, or you wish they could understand, but they just can't. And you have to recognize that, that they have a limitation that even they can't see, they can't change it because they can't see it yet. So again, if you like this video, please, please press the like button and subscribe. I also have a new free ebook. If anyone is interested and you haven't downloaded it, it'll be in the comments below. Bye for now.